What is up, everybody? This is a video that I did not plan to make until, like, yesterday, and I was actually inspired to make it by a Twitter post, as crazy as that sounds, but anyway, right in front of me on my desk is a first-generation iPad from 2010 running iOS 5.1.1, and on it is what is probably the most obscure Megami Tensei game to ever be released in the West. We just unlock it. You gotta love that classic iOS UI, but... This game is Shin Megami Tensei 1 for iOS. This iPad is not jailbroken. This is not a homebrew app. This game is not running on an emulator. Or, well, it is, but... Not the kind that you load ROMs on. This is an official port of Shin Megami Tensei 1 to iOS by Atlas and officially translated by Atlas USA. And to this day, it is the only official translation of this game in English to ever be released. So, yeah, when most of you saw the title of this video, you probably thought, wait, Shin Megami Tensei 1 was released on iOS and it was translated into English? And... If this is your first time hearing about this game, I don't blame you, because Atlas really did not do a lot to promote this game. They announced it a couple weeks before it released on their social media pages, and then they just kind of shadow dropped it to the App Store in March of 2014, and only the App Store, so if you were on Android, you were kind of out of luck. But, yeah, after that, they just, they really just did not promote it, and they did not update it or anything like that. In fact, when iOS updated to iOS 11, Apple actually made it so that apps would not run unless they were updated specifically to run on iOS 11, which Atlas never did with this game. And they didn't take it down, they kind of just left it there to sit until the license expired. And since then, the license has expired, so this game is no longer available to download and... The only way you can play it is if you have one of these devices with this game already installed on it. And if you are one of the people who owns a device with this game on it, I highly suggest you take good care of it because you just might own a very rare piece of Megami Tensei merch. So I am definitely very lucky to have a device with this game on it. But because this is such an obscure game, I made this video because I kind of wanted to just show you guys what this port is like, what it's like to play Shen Megami Tensei 1 on iOS, and just kind of show you, basically just show you this game, because again, this is the only official English version of Shin Megami Tensei, and for me, when it came out, it was kind of a big deal, but I think that this is the best way to play Shin Megami Tensei 1 for those of us in the English-speaking world, so start up the app. Now, when you, hold the, when you hold the device vertically, you get this cool little virtual controller with all these buttons on it. The reason you got these buttons is because the game doesn't actually control with the touchscreen itself. This port is actually the Game Boy Advance version of this game being emulated on this app, which is why you got this controller with all the buttons you'd see on a Game Boy Advance. But if you tap the screen and turn it sideways, the game zooms in and then you get these little... You get these little transparent buttons right here. So I prefer playing it with the virtual controller, but so that you guys could see it better, I'm going to be playing it like this for this video. So we'll just adjust the camera right here. Let's see. And yeah, let's go. Shin Megami Tensei. It's a really cool title screen, by the way. But yeah. Let's uh, start the game. Who dare pass through these corridors? They who name themselves shall not go no further. Speak to me thy name. My name is Nyarly. Oh yeah, and also I did I did go into before I started recording, I went into the settings and made it so that the dialogue goes by faster. You know, that's it's always just a convenient feature in games, make the dialogue go faster. Just some it's something I usually do. But yeah. 
Also, pro tip, if you're new to the franchise, when you start playing this game, do not go for a magic build because your protagonist never gets access to magic in this game. I did that. I made that mistake my first time playing this game, and I didn't realize that he didn't get magic until I was a couple of hours in. So, yeah. Your Law and Chaos heroes, though, they get magic. So, dump as many magic points into them as you'd like. This here is our Chaos hero, and I will name you Jonathan. Was that Jonathan you called him? He has power hidden within. Alright, yep. Most of your stat points will go into magic. Where am I? There was something I was meant to do. Blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. Juan called his name Walter. Yep, I'm gonna name you Walter. First time playing, I actually thought the demon was him, so I gave him a pretty dumb name. I don't remember what it was, but I think it was like Dobby or something. <laughs> That's what I thought of when I saw the demon. Did you call his name Walter? Yep, you will also have a magic build. Why'd you wake me up? And I was having such a good dream, too. Well, so, so we're having a dream within a dream. That's some Inception stuff right there. Oh, hi, Yuriko. Oh, you're Gnarly. My name is Yuriko. I've been waiting you my whole life. That That's great. Gnarly, aren't you up yet? Yes, I am up. As you guys can already tell, I mean, this version definitely looks a lot better than the Super Nintendo version. I mean, obviously it's on a more advanced system, so it's kind of to be expected, but yeah. Steven gives us the email, download the Demon Summoning Program. You know, if I woke up one morning and I found that some stranger sent me an email about the end of the world and a Demon Summoning Program, I don't think I would download it. I mean, maybe if I was a kid, I would download it. I mean, I was I was pretty stupid on the internet. I was that kid that would like click those. You're the you're the one millionth you're the one millionth visitor. You've won a Xbox 360, and I'd always download a ton of viruses, and I'd get a bunch of lectures from my parents. But yeah, somebody in somebody that replied to me on Twitter suggested that I do a stream of this game, which I would totally be down to do. It's just, the problem is, I have no idea how I would screen record this game. I mean, I know it's possible because, like, YouTubers I watched when this thing was new would do it, but I was not able to find anything on how to screen record from a device this old. Alright, so we gotta go to the mall. If we go here, this is where this guy gets attacked by a demon, and then we get the knife. <laughs> And make sure once you get this knife, you equip it because the game does not automatically equip it. And if you get into an encounter, you won't be able to fight back unless you have the knife equipped. Let's uh, go to the cafe. We meet again, Yarly. It feels like a dream. Hi, Yuriko. Okay, you're just gonna just gonna say that. Let's see, let's. Yarly, you're here for your usual coffee beans, right? I'll have them sent to your house. You can wait to pay for them when they're delivered. Okay, so what was the point in me coming here? Uh, yep, this is it. I'm just gonna buy some armor. Thank you. But, um, yeah, back to what I was saying, like, if anybody in the comments, like, if anybody watching this knows how to screen record from a first generation iPad, you know, please let me know because I would definitely love to be able to do that. And let's go to sleep. That was a pretty short day. We just went to the mall, talked to some people, and we're done. And now we're in a dream with a blue hallway. We'll meet again, Gnarly. I'm happy to see you again, Gnarly. Remember, I'm always by your side. 
Mel, you weren't by my side earlier. You're just following me around like a creepy stalker. A disturbing ritual is underway. Oh, what are these people doing? Are they trying to summon a demon? Oh, Dark Lord, deep in slumber, take this young one's soul. Yeah, I'm gonna save her. Hey, the guy in the back has a sword. We got nothing. You're not you guys can use magic, can't you? Call my name. Yep, I already know what I'm naming you. Isabo. I hope I'm spelling this right. D does anybody watching this actually like know anybody in real life named Isabo? Because like I know people named Jonathan and Walter. I know people named Isabel, but not Isabo. It's just it's a name I've never heard before. Aside from, you know, Shin Megami Tensei. Thank you, Gnarly. They nearly sacrificed me. If the ritual had finished, it would have summoned a fearsome demon. Blah, 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 blah. I will also give you a magic build. Actually gonna... Mm -hmm. Give you a little more of a defensive build. Let's see. We won't meet for some time. It is fated that we part for now. Gnarly, are you up yet? Just because you mean you're off school doesn't mean you can sleep in. I mean, that's usually what I do on my off days, just sleep. I've completed my auto mapping program, so I'll send it to you. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, yep, there. Okay, our first encounter, and it's not even a demon, it's just a Yakuza. But yeah, for, the, for these early parts of the game, best thing to do is to just auto battle. This is where we need to go. Talk to this old man here, and then he sends us to this weird dungeon thing. No matter which way it leans, the result will be the same. What will you do? Seriously, I'm dreaming in the middle of the day. I mean, I do that sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean all the time. I daydream. Though I don't have dreams about me fighting bosses like this in weird places. <laughs> do, 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 do. You don't actually have to, you're not actually supposed to beat this boss. You just fight him for like a turn and then he tells you, tells you you can't fight him yet. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter what you do. It's going to turn out the same. Even if he kills one of your party members, it doesn't actually, like, do anything. Do, 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 do. It seems you cannot handle this yet. If fate wills it, you will surely encounter him again. Take caution when you do. See, hold it right there. You must be gnarly. You're under arrest. Get him. What did I do? Now stay in there. This isn't suspicious at all, but this is where we meet the law hero. You have to listen to me. My girlfriend's gone missing. Let them off. The police arrested me. I need to hurry and find my girlfriend. Could you help me find her? My girlfriend's name is Isabeau. Ooh, Jonathan and Isabeau are dating. That's, that's cute. It's alternate timeline. It's time for the surgery. Get out. Jonathan leaped at the worker. Okay, if they're gonna, like, perform some weird surgery on us, why would they just send the surgeon, like, without any guards? I mean, we're pretty much asking for that to happen. And if we go in here, this is where we meet Steven. You have the program I made. Has it been useful to you? My last project was a teleportation device terminal system, but my tests inadvertently brought demons to our world. I killed them, but somehow was injured in the process. The painful experience. Blah, 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 blah. Control himself, so I'm disseminating my program to the people. The more people can control demons, the better. Hopefully that will keep them running rampant. Yes, I understand all you've said. Demon analysis program. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But I guess, yeah, I guess I might as well save. Your progress has been recorded. Do you want to continue playing? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm actually really glad I saved right there because shortly after I saved, I had a recording error and 
yeah, hopefully this transition doesn't look too awkward in editing, but yeah, so basically what we gotta do is we gotta, there's a boss in here we gotta fight before we can leave, so yeah, and I also wanna get, I also wanna get Jonathan up to at least level two, because that's when he learns an actual damaging magic spell. Right now, all we can do is basically just auto battle. Dang, this thing's taking a lot of damage. 80 XP, not bad. Ooh, and a double level up too, not bad. I mean, you don't really need demons this early in the game, but you can fuse the demon with Pascal, and then he'll turn into Cerberus, and he's basically just a really high level demon that'll carry you through the first part of the game. You're not very good at lying, are you? I can tell you're scheming. Allow me to modify you to become my puppets. Okay, so basically, what Arias does is he, he likes to spam ailments, but in the last battle, he actually did more attacking, and my protagonist actually ended up dying. So I don't want that to happen, because if he dies, I mean, he can, I can still keep playing if he does, but I don't gain any experience from the battle, and I would like to have experience on my main character, so yeah. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Dang. I'm a... Hey, not bad. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of HP. It's pretty. It's a pretty easy boss battle. We got 240 EXP. Another double level up. Not bad. All right, and now we're outside. Whatever. And this is where we recruit Chaos Hero. What are you talking about, demons? Hey, guy, let's beat this guy. Allow this. Land power, what should we do? We're still talking like that. Hey, what did you just say? You called him Gnarly, didn't you? So that wasn't just a dream. You mean that you're Jonathan? Walter, buh, 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 buh. yeah, you can come with us. Now I don't need to. I don't need to grind up Walter because I don't need to grind up Chaos Hero because Chaos Hero already knows Augie. I mean, as you saw from the, or actually, I don't know if I used it in the Dome and fight, but whatever. You're about to see me use it in this next boss. A terrible murderer was arrested here. I wonder if his name was Niarly. So now we go back home. Do, 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 Welcome home, Yarly. I'm always ever so worried about you, but at least you're back safe now. I'm so glad. Come and give your mother a kiss. Well, you're telling me to give you a kiss, but this music is telling me not to. It's strange. Yeah, this, yeah, this music makes it obvious. I've already eaten your mother, but don't be sad. You'll see her again soon, in my stomach, that is. Tarunda. Oh, this thing can use debuffs. I actually already knew that. Use Suzanne. I know this thing can also mute the party. Ooh, that did a lot. Not bad. Dang it. A, he's defeated, not bad. Jockey, Amano Jaku was defeated. Let's see, let's see. Gnarly obtained ID card. I doubt there's anything I could say that would help now, but I'll try not to feel bad. Or in this version, it's don't be too hard on yourself. Give it a rest, Jonathan, let the guy alone, his mom just died. If there's Pascal, it seems that we want to take him along. Bloody apron. Let's go to my room. Save the game. And I think this is a good place to stop. So yeah, that's Shin Megami Tensei 1 for iOS. I mean, it's it's a it's honestly a really good port, and you know, for at least for those of us in the English-speaking world, it's the best way to play this game, if you ask me, but that is you have to find a way to play it first, but, um, 
yeah, it's it's really unfortunate that the best way to play Shin Megami Tensei 1 in English is no longer available, but that's the unfortunate reality of a lot of these digital-only games, especially on mobile. Like, they're put up on the market, and they're kind of just forgotten about, then the license expires, you can no longer get them. It's pretty sad, but again, it's like, what can you do? In fact, you may have already noticed, but a lot of these other apps I have on here, I have, I mainly keep this iPad, like, pretty much just to play old delisted games. I mean, that's, that's pretty much what most of the other games I have on here are. Maybe I'll do a video about them, because I have very fond memories of playing these games when I was a kid, but can't play them anymore, so that's why I have this iPad. This iPad, I actually, I was cleaning my dad's office one day, and I just found it laying around, and my dad told me I could have it. That was a couple of years ago, so it's pretty cool, but, um... Yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to tell me what you think. Be sure to rate, comment, and or subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other links in the description. And also, my next video that I have planned is Persona 4 Izanagi only. I know I've been delaying that video way more than I should, but I've I've already I've finished the script for it, so I'm definitely going to get to work on it soon. But yeah, anyways, guys, I will see you later.